Once you have the freelancer theme downloaded and extracted, your folder will contain several files. Most bootstrap themes and web pages are organized in this way. First, we have a folder that contains the CSS files used for the layout. This includes the essential bootstrap.css file, the bootstrap.min.css file, and also a custom CSS file specifically for this theme called freelancer.css. The next two folders, font awesome and fonts, include the CSS and font files used for the theme. You can leave those as is. The image folder contains the images used for the theme. The JS folder contains all the JavaScript files used for Bootstrap and also the jQuery library. Remember that many of the functions in Bootstrap themes are coded in JavaScript and called from the jQuery library. The less folder contains some additional files that allow the expansion of the CSS language to include additional features and functions. The mail folder includes a PHP script that you can use to process your form data. Uh, don't worry about this for now. You'll learn about form processing in the PHP section of this course if you're taking it as part of the Web Development Masterclass. And lastly, we have the index file. Uh, this is the main web page. So I'll go ahead and open that in my web browser. And we went over this in the beginning of this uh, project. So this is just the file that we'll be exploring. You can go ahead and open this file in your text editor. And in the next lesson, we'll start taking a look at the code.